Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Cricket Captain 2023 in another part of the road to world number one with England. Today we take on Australia in the first Ashes Test match. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys are too. Um, it's uh, sort of the beginning of the end of this series, if you like. Um, we've obviously just lost against South Africa meaning it's going to be very difficult uh, to get back to number one. So, uh, you, you know, we really need to beat Australia if we are to have a, a chance of doing that. But, uh, yes, let's uh, head forward. Um, still gutted after that result against South Africa. We were really, really poor in that match, and um, we should have done a hell of a lot better, really. But uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to, of course, pick our squad um, you know, I think we have to be very, very mindful of, of the players we take. What sort of plans are we going for? Um, and we need to, to take our best players, uh, essentially. Um, so let's keep pushing forward. Um, you can see all of the matches that are going on. Um, and we seem to have won the... ODI series um, and well lost the T20 series so we've got 18 players to pick now I think all of these players should come um, no doubt about that but looking at the form players aren't in good form but I don't think it particularly matters in terms of Bowlers, I think we want to take Alex Russell with us. Um, I think he is a, you know, a, a top top player. Um, deserves to uh, to get his chance again. I think um, we we didn't utilize him enough, in my opinion. Uh, there's Matt Potts as well, potentially. You know, I think uh, Matt Potts could be a a good option in Australia. Um, so Matty Potts is is going to come along. Uh, Josh Tung as well has, has done decently. He's going to come. I don't want to bring, uh, you know, loads of players that aren't going to play, essentially. Um, so I'm happy to bring Dan Lawrence. And then let's have a little look at uh, the first class stuff for this year. Who's this guy? Uh, Michael Gillet. Um, Lancashire, Manchester and England he has been playing one day international stuff I think he definitely looks like he should be in the test team um, so let's uh, let's get him in there and that's uh, probably going to be our 18th player who's this guy? Follett 18 years old 64 with the bat 84 with the ball uh, he's an off spinner I don't think we need that uh, we've got ben slater 34 years old um let's just pop that onto personal for now uh, and see if we can find any young players this guy joey fry averaging 57 in the county championship for surrey probably not probably a bit early for him amir khan <laughs> he's to, he's given up on boxing. Um, there's this guy, Peter Moon, only 21 years old, just two few matches, I think. Um, what about this guy, Holman? Luke Holman looks okay with the bat, looks okay with the ball. Just really trying to find the next the next big thing. To be honest, uh, always did like Sibley. Just doesn't quite fit into the very aggressive nature. Um, I mean, this year he's done a good job, Johnny Bairstow. Maybe he deserves a reprieve. Who does he come in for, though? Who's not going to play? It? I mean, possibly Alex Russell, because of his form. Or maybe James Rue, I think. 
it's so tough with Rue. You know, what do you what do you do with James Rue? Yeah, that's just very, very difficult. Because he's a decent player, but is he as good as Johnny Bairstow in this team? I don't know. Yeah. The thing is, if Rayan Ahmed gets injured, Alex Russell will have to come in. Now the question is, do we go for Tung or do we go for Potts? And I think we go for Potts, actually. Tung did all right against Bangladesh, but that's Bangladesh. Um, that's the squad, then. That is the squad. Ooh, that was um, some tricky decisions in there. They definitely want to play Gile. We'll maybe look at that, possibly batting at three. Um... And Bairstow back in the squad, I think, is a good thing. Yeah, that all looks good. Interestingly, they haven't got Anderson playing, which that's never, ever happened for me before. Um, sorry, folks, just had to sneeze there. Um... Hmm. Let's give Ollie Robinson some f ground fielding. Yeah, very interesting that Anderson's not being given a place. Um, but we're playing Cricket Australia 11 first. So I think a, a possible chance to give people a go that we wouldn't normally ha give a chance to. Um... So yeah, do we get Alex Russell in for Rayan Ahmed? And well, I'm just gonna simulate this. I'm not that worried. Maybe Johnny Bairstow at three. See Justin Moody. He's somebody that I think needs to needs to be back in. No, that's fine. Right, let's see. How they get on. Skip the match. Um, England win by 58 runs. Let's have a little look then. Uh, Gillet didn't get to, to bat in that first innings. What about the second innings? Oh, he got 35 not out. And looked a pretty decent. Johnny Bairstow uh, looked all right. Maybe he's given us a little bit to think about. Batting at three. Uh, Ollie Robinson, Alex Russell getting three wickets there as well. Mm, definitely things to think about. Jofra Archer looking good. Ollie Robinson looking good. Um, Zach Crawley getting a bit of a ball. Matty Potts looking okay as well. But I think we'd, we'd have to go for James Anderson, wouldn't we? But yeah, let's uh, continue forward. And... Uh, we'll keep going with those coaching stuff. That's all good. Keep pushing forward. And uh, here we are then, ready for the first test match. Australia, only four star these days, which is very interesting indeed. So, Zach Crawley and Ben Duckett, they are going to be opening the baton. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, Johnny Bairstow at three. We've been struggling with Ollie Pope for a while. Let's give Johnny Bairstow another go. Um... I think it's going to be a bit early for Alex Russell. So we're going to bring in um, Rayan Ahmed. We're also going to have Jimmy Anderson in there for Matty Potts. And this is where I start to struggle. To be completely honest with you, it's, it's a very difficult decision. Of who comes in. Do we go for Gile or Moody? Or do we give Gile a chance? We also probably need another seamer in there, don't we? Let's have a look at the conditions. Yep. 
Because hmm. I think Jofra Archer is going to be invaluable down under. Hmm. This is so tough. Yeah, we're going to go for this. We're going to go for this. Um, ben Stokes will just have to take some of the ball and pain. But uh, that's what we've gone for. Let's have a look at this Australia side. So Labashin and Smith still in there. Uh, Green, Travis Head. Cummings still there. Hazelwood, Scotty Boland. But uh, quite a different Australia side. Uh, two players making a debut. Uh, Gile and uh, Mackenzie. Let's see how it goes. So Tails fails this time. And uh, we are going to be bowling first. And hopefully James Anderson can still be at his best and uh, can still get wickets uh, against the best. That's uh, the big plan. Here comes Robinson. He hasn't got hold of that. Oh, it's edged for four. But Australia are going to be very tough out. to beat. But Great there ball. goes Robinson. No. pakovsky has gone. He's out for 18. Good start. Robinson in the Labashin. Not quite. Anderson into Brasha now. Not out. But decent opening spells from those two. Joffre Archer now into Labashin. And that's a good delivery. Has he got him? Yes, he has. Third ball of Joffre Archer's spell. And Labashin is gone. He's out for 12. Archer into Smith now. Ooh, wow. And that's why Archer needs to be in. So Stokes is going to come in now. And there we go. Lunch interval day one, 124 for two. Good uh, rate from Australia. They'll be pretty pleased with that. Going to bring in a bit of spin for a while. Just see where we can get to. Rayan Ahmed into Brasha now. No. Yeah, Joe Root just slowing down the play here. And he's got Smith, I think. Yep, Smith's gone. Well, Smith out for 50. Great ball from Joe Root. And now Rayan Ahmed to Brasha. Oh, very close. Not quite. There's very little turn out there. Joe Root into Brasher now. That's just about unplayable. Root looking probably slightly better. We're going to have Ollie Robinson in from the other end now. And Joffre. Tintville day one. 2.43 for three. Archer into green. Edged and gone. Good catch from Ahmed. He's gone for 28. Good stuff. Archer into Brasher now. That's that high one. in the air, but it's going to go for four, if not six. It does go for six. Anderson into Brasher. Edged well and gone. Anderson gets his first wicket. He's gone for 165. And yeah, relief for Jimmy Anderson, to be fair. But Archer's been smacked around the park. Australia in general playing a bit of baz ball themselves here. Yeah, gonna give Rayan Ahmed a bit of the new ball here. The big shout goes mm, that could be Self out. It is out. It's not go. turning much this pitch, but uh, that's a good delivery from Rayan Ahmed. Hanscom's gone for 66, and now the tail's exposed. Beautiful. Cummins gone as well. He's out for a duck. This is where we can hopefully make an impact. And they've got 400 on the first day. 
End of day one, 407 for seven. So Anderson and Robinson are going to open up on day two. He's miscued that. That's high in the air. Oh, it's four. Robinson into Hazelwood. Gone. Good catch by Root. Hazelwood's gone for 31. It's a good score from the lower order, that. Stokes in the ball and that's high in the air. That's out. It's caught. Stokes gets his first wicket. That's hit the pads. And that's gonna go down that's leg side. Going down the leg side. Yeah. Good. Well, there we go. Stokes gets a second wicket, and Australia five hundred and seven all out. It was always gonna happen, really. Um, you know. Bowling first is not what we wanted, but uh, wickets for all of our bowlers there. Uh, Jimmy Anderson, uh, the most economical of them, other than Joe Root. Um, two for 62 for Joe, uh, Ben Stokes, two for 121 for Archer, three for 122 for Ollie Robinson. But um, it should be an opportunity, really, for Crawley and, and Duckett to, to do well here. You know, Australian pitches, I think it suits our style of play. So, what an enormous shot. I'm expecting a, a decent response here. That looks like it's going to the boundary. A good shot from Duckett, and hopefully these two can get another decent opening stand. They did right that in the, the second innings of the last Test match against South Africa. It was just a shame we'd thrown it away in the first innings of that match, really. But they'll hopefully continue to perform against Australia here yeah, good shot and obviously the last time we played Australia Ben Duckett uh, had a, a brilliant series well Crawley's gone shame he's out for 38 and Johnny Bairstow comes in at three that looks like it's going to the boundary and what a spectacular right return it. it would be for him if he can come in and perform. Beautifully struck. Shot. Good shot. And that's the thing. Bearstow matches our Backing style of play shot. more than James Rue. And I think in an Ashes series, you need to to have your best players playing. Savage shot. Four more. And although James Rue has the potential to be one of our best players, I think Bairstow will, will probably have better stats right now. But he's gone for 31. 116 for two here. What was the batsman thinking of? Now can Joe Root go and get a decent century here in Australia? Well, oh, what a shot. Six runs there. Right. There we go then, T in day two, and it's 136 for two. Still 371 runs behind. He's really cracked that one. And there's 54, Ben Bowler Duckett. Himself, it... Good start to the series for him. And I think he'll be fancying the job. Where's that going? But that could be well, out, and it be... is. Duckett's gone for 60. What a shame. Now then. Not far away from exposing the tail, really. Shot. Beautiful shot. Four. He's timed that beautifully. That's. But we're heading towards two hundred. Obviously, first things first. We need to oh avoid That's any terrible. chance of the follow-on. Oh dear, that was That's another uh, terrible bit of wicket keeping. Powerful off drive. Oh, a blinding shot. Yeah, great cover Good. drive from Joe Root into the 40s. He goes now. Shot. That's a beautiful shot. Four all the way. Half an hour left of the day. I think definitely time to. That's a thick edge. Try and push on a little bit. 
cracking shot for four. Let's see Joe Root's past 50. Four runs. And this is great. 14 runs off that over. Shot. Oh, Brook over the top. That's six. Huge runs and 50 for Harry Brook. And that's the thing. I think our style of play really does suit these Australian pitches where it's good for batting. Okay, two overs left of the day. Let's uh, shut up shop a little bit. Survive to the end of it. That's the plan anyway. What a good shot. And there you go. 140 partnership, which is good. End of day two, 289 for three. Still 218 runs behind, but uh, definitely a chance to push on on uh, day three now when maybe even get into the lead if we can get some big sentries out of these two. That's a good looking shot. Good shot from Harry Brook. Perfect length. Oh, that was a good delivery. And he was wafting for that one. Oh, a lovely shot. Square cut for four. Well, the bowl is appealing. That could be out, though. And I think it is. Brook's gone. 83, he's out for. And Michael Gillet comes to the crease. And what a start to his Ashes career. Great thump for four. Can he have the same sort of impact that Justin Moody had? Beautiful. In his first match. And that's going to be 100 for Joe Root. One more run. On Australian soil. Well Absolutely brilliant from him. And he will move up He's to third. In the, the all-time test run scorers. And that's very well played. He's absolutely nailed that. He's edged it. Yep, good shot. Lunch interval day three then. 368 for four. Still 139 runs behind, but certainly getting well, more to, very quick to where we need that. to be oh, getting, no. which is good. I'm actually going to up the aggression slightly for both players. Beaten all ends. He was fishing for that. Yeah, good four. shot. Four runs. And again, beautiful. Hooked away for four. Don't bother running there's another that. six for Joe Root. And that's a nice stroke. This is uh, absolutely brilliant from the former skipper. And that's his 150. 400 up. That's not quite actually, it's the 400 oh, for England. And Bowler's left scratching his head. Another four for Gilet there. Fine shot there. A forcing stroke off the back foot. And it looks like the future is bright in terms of That's batsmen. A good looking shot. We just need to be finding oh, the next James Anderson, essentially. Oh, what a shot that is! Six runs! Huge! And there's 150 for Joe Root. And that's his 150. What? Absolutely brilliant from him. Back turned in his hand. And hopefully Michael Geely can get himself to 50 big. here. That's a big, thick edge. That's going to go for Not four. And there is 50. And that's 50. Well played. And very, very good from him. That's been a, a very decent batting performance from us, to be fair. Four more. And definitely a chance to keep pushing on. It's another well, six for Joe Root. Six runs. No. This is bonkers. From him. He's out. Oh, Gilet is gone. He's out for 64. So Ben Stokes comes to the crease and he he's got a, a chance to. Really get some runs today. And there's another six for Joe Root. That is his fourth of the innings. 
And there's another one. Oh my word. Joe Root absolutely racing away towards 200. It's fabulous to see. Close. Well, the umpire says not out. A good decision, I think, from him. The big shout. No. But the umpire. But Stokes is gone that time. Struggled there. Nought off nine deliveries. He's hammered that. It would be a real shame if uh, Australia ended up with a first innings Logan, lead here. And there ball, goes Root. He's out for 186. And you feel like that will be Brilliantly. a first innings lead for them. I don't think these are going to survive too long. But uh, we'll try. Good shot. And that's four more. And we've given ourselves a chance in this first Ashes test. The the moment it hit the bat. Ollie Robinson in particular playing very, very well. 502 for eight. And nearly at the end of day three now. And well, looks like we might get ourselves a lead and there it is he really hammered that one England into the lead well taken oh, Ray and Ahmed gone he's out for six Jimmy Anderson now in beautiful ball let's try and be aggressive with uh, oh, and Robinson down. he's dropped what a good ball Oh, he hits He's it over the rope for six. And these are very useful That's runs. And there's job. Jimmy Anderson getting in on the act as well. 5.25 for nine. Good shot from Robinson. That's gone right well, this time he's bald. He's gone for 32. But uh, 529 is our score there. And that is massive really uh joe root 186 but lots and lots of contributions from all over the pitch really um got to be happy with that you know uh 38 from crawley 60 from Duckett, 31 from Bearstow there um 83 from brook and 64 from debutant uh, michael gilet uh very good to see very happy with that right let's push on then and into the bowling innings and if we can keep them under 250 here i'd feel confident that we can chase that so anderson and robinson opening the ball and that one moved it's important that we get a, an early wicket you feel a wicket in this first spell anderson into brasher oh. edged and gone brasher out for 18 that's a good start for james anderson and you know i think we've got a be mindful that we're not necessarily going to skittle very them. Close indeed. No, just drifting past the leg stump, I think. I'm just trying to get a labber in, but end of day one, a, a day three, sorry, and it is 66 for one. Right, we are going to start off with Ollie Robinson and Jofra Archer on day two here. Yep, no impact there. Mm. Not a lot of impact here either. Ahmed in a labachine. He's beaten by that. Not quite. Ahmed in a Pukowski oh, and he's gone. Good one there. 77 he's out for. Anderson in a labachine. And that's a terrific delivery. And the umpire's going to favour the out. bowler. Was absolutely dead in the water. Anderson's second wicket. Good delivery. He's gone for 78. And, well, Australia. Lunch interval day three, four, 198 for three. Let's see if we can bowl them Make for around 250. We'd be delighted. And there's the fourth wicket. Green's gone for five. Come on. Ahmed into Smith now. That was a horrible shot. Not quite. Archer in the head. Found the edge. That's high in the air. There's nobody out there. It's four. Archer in the head again. Beautiful ball. Oof. 
Yeah, bring Anderson back in. That's Gone, point. heads out for 54, right. Come on, boys. Ahmed into Hanscom. He's gone as well. He's out for five. This is a good spell from Rayan Ahmed into Cummins. Fantastic. He's gone as well. That's five for Rayan Ahmed. That's a confident appeal. I think that's outside the, the line. Leave it, but the umpire's unmoved. It was a good delivery, and it started to turn. Come on, Ahmed into Hazelwood now. It's outside the line as well. But he's got them in all sorts of trouble here. That might have been a thin edge, and it was. Well, Hazelwood's gone for one. Six wickets for Ahmed now. Boland's gone, gone as well. That's seven. Can he get number eight? This could be out. Ooh, close. Steve Smith still there, though. Big appeal. No, that's, Surely that's good. not a good delivery. Come on. No, no luck there. Ahmed into Mackenzie. That's and he's gone. He's Absolutely out. brilliant from Rayan Ahmed. That is eight wickets for 125. Absolutely terrific. James Anderson, uh, two for eight. He was supporting him, but... We have been set 317 to win this first test match. It's it's definitely doable. Um, whether we will do it or not, I don't know. We've got plenty of time in which to give it a go. And you feel the opening stand is very, very important here. To whether we will manage it. And that's another four buys. Shot four runs there. Pure timing. Yeah, Zach Crawley. Off to a good start. And if we can get the bulk of 150 runs in this first session, this could be a boundary. Then we'd make our job a lot easier the on the final day. There. There's another four for Ben Duckett. That hits the oh, that's going to be out. out, though. Great delivery that's from out. Hazelwood, and Doug, it's gone for 22. And that brings Johnny Bairstow to the crease. What a shot. And he thwacks the first ball to the boundary, but Crawley's gone as well. He's out for 34. An hour left today. That's a fine Australia will be looking point. for two or three more wickets. We're looking for another 80-odd runs. Mm, Root's gone. So, might just have to lay down the weapons a little bit here. Yeah. Well, there's no excuse well, for that. Another four buys and important buys. Shot. Four runs. And then we go then, end of day four, 119 for three, 198 runs to win. We're in a good position. He just got Ooh, his fingers to that. Well, Brooke could have been gone there. He oh, he is gone hand. this time. Big edge, he's out for 32. Well. And that's an absolute... Based all gone as well. And now Ben Stokes comes to the crease. And all of a sudden, we're in a little bit of trouble here. But what a chance for Michael G later to be, a become a hero, and he's going to have to now. Well held. Because uh, we are on the verge of defeat. It's a collapse. 
did feel we could chase this, but I'm now really not sure. Still need 145 to win. We just got to take it uh, and oh, over man. at a time, but Ahmed's been yorked out. Oh, Robinson's been bowled out. LBW. Anderson's got to face four deliveries. And luckily for us, he does. It struck him in line. And well, what a disaster. He's creamed that one. Yeah, good shot from Julie, but Anderson gonna have to be uber defensive. Lunch interval day five. It's 189 for nine, 128 more runs to win. And well, it would be quite the achievement from G Labor. He is gone this time. He's gone for 30. And well, Australia win the first test match by 118 runs. You feel like that isn't necessarily a deserved outcome for them. Um, but we just didn't bring it in that second innings. Nobody got a score. And. Yeah, that's that. But uh, Brasher gets man of the match for that 165. Um, yeah, very disappointed to go 1-0 down in the series. We definitely had an opportunity there. And we'll have to really seriously think about what we do for the second test match. But uh, that's where we're going to leave it for today. If you have enjoyed that, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more Um Crit Captain videos and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.